Hello, teachers and staff. My name is Ms. Pagan. I'm a remote teacher and I'm also a virtual content specialist. In this lesson, Unit 7, Day 8, with the title Drawing Polygons with Specified Attributes to Solve Problems, the focus question is how can we draw different types of polygons? Students will be asked to draw using the PowerPoint slide draw tool. However, I have also added a support tool in collaboration with the Division of Multilingual Learners, a Google Jamboard that can be utilized both in English and in Spanish to complete this lesson as a support for multilingual learners. You will notice that you will be provided with a PowerPoint slide. In this PowerPoint slide, there are both the English and the Spanish Google Jamboard. Simply click on the link and you will open up the hyperlink and have your own copy of both the English Google Jamboard and the Spanish Google Jamboard. In this lesson, the suggestions for support for multilingual learners, both in slide six are to use a Google Jamboard. Finally, in slide nine, you will notice the suggestions for engaging multilingual learners is to use the home language as a resource. For these two reasons, I have provided Google Jamboards to be used either live or asynchronously for your students in both English and in Spanish. Let's take a moment just to look at the English Google Jamboard. For the teachers or staff that may not have used a Google Jamboard before, you will notice on the left-hand side that there is a pen tool. And in this lesson in particular, we will use the pen tool and the marker to highlight parallel sides. You'll also notice an eraser, a select tool, a sticky note tool. This tool I utilize when I have more than one student on a Google Jamboard. When placing the Google Jamboard in my Google Classroom under edit, multiple students can access the same Google Jamboard. This can be a tool used for partnerships or to build collaboration. When using the sticky note, when I have multiple students, they might select to have different colors or I might assign different colors for students. You'll also notice the Google image search, the shapes tool, which in this lesson, we will be using the shapes tool to draw different types of polygons, the text box and the laser. In the introduction section, students are asked to use the shape tool to draw some polygons below. They are also asked to draw at least one polygon with parallel sides. For that reason, students may use the pen tool to draw a polygon. They may use the shapes tool. Simply click on the shapes tool, select one shape, and click on any area of the Google Jamboard. When deciding to create a shape larger than the preset shape, you can click on the shape, click, hold, and drag until you have determined the shape that you would like, which this will be needed in the explore section when asked to draw a shape with a certain length. Finally, teachers, you'll notice that there are multiple different shapes that students can use to draw different types of polygons. They can select a triangle, they can select a rectangle. There's also a rhombus here. For students that may have may be more advanced, they may select a Google image search. By clicking on add image, clicking on Google image search, and writing the name of any Google uh, image, such as a trapezoid, such as a rhombus, I wrote a trapezoid here just as an example. Once I write a trapezoid in the Google image search, I can click on the trapezoid, click insert, and the trapezoid I can place on any area of this page. This is the introduction section where students will be asked to draw different types of polygons. You may also ask students to click on the pen tool, open up to the highlighter, and highlight the parallel sides on one shape 
using the green highlighter, just as in the example that's above. In the explore section, students will also be asked to draw. They will draw a quadrilateral that has four right angles that end sides that are two inches long. You may select a model or have students use the shapes tool, click on a tool, place it in the blue area. Afterwards, students will be asked to check to see that all four angles are 90 degrees. They can click on the 90 degree angle tool, drag the tool to any corner and verify that that corner or that angle is 90 degrees. If you are modeling for students, you may select to click on that tool and you'll see that there are four dots on the corner or rather three dots on the corner. You can click order and bring to the front. Then you will be able to see the 90 degree angle in front of the shape and place it into each corner or each angle to verify that it is a right angle. Teachers, when rotating this tool, just click on the circle that has the rotation and rotate the 90 degree angle to place it in each corner or each angle to verify that it is 90 degrees. You can rotate and then drag to place. Teachers, you'll also notice that students will be asked to measure each side and that each side must be two inches long. They can complete this task by clicking on the ruler, dragging to one side, and then placing the ruler along one side of their polygon. If they notice that their polygon is not exactly two inches, they can click on the polygon, drag on the corner to make the polygon larger. Finally, on this section, students might need to rotate the ruler. Use the rotate circle and rotate the ruler so that they can measure each side. And if needed, click and drag so that each side is two inches long. On the right-hand side, students will be asked to draw a quadrilateral with at least one set of parallel lines. Again, they can use the pen tool or the shape tool to select any quadrilateral or shape or polygon with four sides, and then check with the ruler again is that the sides are straight and also that the sides do not touch. Click on the drawing tool, the highlighter, and highlight the parallel lines that they have selected or demonstrated in the explore section. You will also find as a support tool teachers, this Jamboard in Spanish. All the directions are in Spanish and all the tools that I have just modeled for you are present so that students are able to demonstrate how they can draw different polygons. Finally, I'd just like to draw your attention to the summarize sections. In the summarize sections, you might want to summarize as a class or in partnerships or in groups. You may do this by using the text box tool where students can write their information using text or a sticky note where multiple students can write their information, their thinking, or even use a countable talk. You may want to use sentence frames already for students that are multilingual learners. I notice. And place the sticky notes in the blue sections in either English or Spanish so that students can write their information. This is also a support tool for multilingual learners. Again, this is Ms. Pagan. I have provided for you today two Google Jamboards to support your multilingual learners in this lesson as a suggestion to use home language support on slide nine and also on slide six to use the Google Jamboard so that students can draw different types of polygons. This is Ms. Pagan. Please feel free to write comments and questions so that we can best support you in our YouTube videos as you support your students.